Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a brief tutorial on how you can access transcripts on YouTube, make copies of them and edit them so they're more accurate so you can give them to your students. They can use that as a study guide, a note taking sheet, or just as an accessible resource when watching videos in your class. So the helpful thing here is to first go to YouTube and open up a video. And you can use the features that I'm about to show you on any video across YouTube, whether you are the owner of the video and uploaded it, or you're watching another person's video. YouTube automatically creates closed captions for every video that's uploaded into its platform. Now, because they are automatic closed captions, we know that they are created by machines. They're not 100% accurate. But the helpful thing is that you can always go through and add your own, own closed captions for videos that you make or whenever you're downloading the transcript of a YouTube video, you can go back and edit and revise those so they're a little bit more accurate than what the automatic closed captions might be. So what I'm going to do is pull up a video. All right, so this is a video that I created, but you could do this for any video that you might have access to or need for an assignment. And your students have the ability to do this as well. So what you'll do is right below the video player, there is a three dot button here. You're going to select the three dot button, it's the options menu. And then there's this button called open transcript. And it's kind of a hidden gem here. After you click open transcript and scroll a little bit further up the page, what we'll see is a window here that has a transcript of the automatic closed captioning in this video. If it was another version or another language of closed captioning, if there were multiple here, you could technically toggle that to whatever type of closed captioning language that you need. This is the automatic one from this video. And as you notice, there's timestamps here. So as the video plays, it cycles through those different transcript elements here and lets you know what line you're on. You want to turn off the timestamps. You can click the three dot button here and do to toggle timestamps and that turns it to where it is just plain text. Personal preference here, up to you. Some people like to have the timestamps. Others, when they're making a transcript, prefer not to see the timestamps because they're just reading it and following it along, almost like it's an article that they're reading. So the thing to do here is you can just watch and you have the transcript here off to the right. But the other option is that if you wanted to print this transcript and give it to your students so they have it as a resource, what you'll do is highlight, all of this text here select it all the keyboard shortcut would be control a and that selects all of it so i'll go all the way down the page here and i can either right click and do copy or i can use the keyboard shortcut control c or command c if you're using a mac and what i can do from here is i could possibly open this in a google doc and perhaps i share the google doc of the transcript with my students so they have it or i print it for a student who might benefit from that resource. As we know, some individualized education plans or IEPs require that students have transcripts and closed captions for every video. So this might be something that as an educator, you are legally required to provide to your student. So I'm going to add the title to this Google Doc. And again, you can open this up in a word processing tool of your choice. I'm just doing Google Docs because I'm already in Google anyway. Give it a title. And then in the space here on my document, I'm just going to do control V to paste. Or what I could have done is do um, right click and do paste there, command V if you're using a Mac. All right. So here we go. It has my whole transcript here and it always does it entered line by line because that's the way the automatic closed captioning was set up. So what I could do is go through this and edit this text as I needed because we know that automatic closed captions are not 100% perfect. Now, if you pasted this into the document and you're not liking the way that it's formatted, the other option here is you can paste this without formatting. So if I undo everything that I just did here, the other way that I could paste this in is if I right click or if I use the keyboard shortcut control shift V, I can paste this without formatting and it got rid of that background kind of really light gray color on my screen and I can go through here and edit this as I need to and make it a little bit more accurate. So that is how you can make a transcript and print it and make it available to your students for any YouTube video that's out there, whether you're the owner of the video or someone else is. 
I hope this video is helpful for you. And thanks for joining Fresh BCSE Tech. Hope I see you again soon.